After a hazing investigation, Ringling High School football coach Philip Coons now faces an outraging public decency charge. The football team on the road tonight in Winniewood. Our Jordan Fremstead was there, also spoke to legal analysts about what this charge means going forward. Friday night lights shine bright on Oklahoma football. Football is king in this state. And so do the expectations of small town fans. The small town football is the biggest thing going on. As football kicks off at Winniewood High School, the focus shifts to the visiting team. Because of a misdemeanor charge facing ringling football coach Philip Coons. It's going to have a big ripple effect. In late February, Coons was placed on paid administrative leave after harassment allegations. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation took over the case in June, and an attorney representing multiple John Doe's put together a federal complaint against Coons. It's kind of a catch-all charge. Coons faces a charge of outraging public decency. Jefferson County court records show Coons willfully and wrongfully committed an act that was injurious to public morals. To file on a coach that's got all the support of a lot of former alumni and a lot of former players uh, is, is it, it takes some guts to stand up to it. We did not see Coach Coons on the sidelines. And an OSSAA spokesperson said it is up to the school district to decide whether he should coach in the meantime. Fox says this serves as a lesson for Oklahoma athletics. He wins, but the way he wins, uh, maybe he's going to stop now. Where the journey to success is under the microscope. If you're harming them both physically and mentally, uh, it, it's not worth it. The priority box says should be about the well-being of the kids under these lights. The lives and the safety of young men are more important than football itself. We did reach out to the Jefferson County DA's office for more information about this charge. We also reached out to Ringling Public Schools to find out more about Coach Kuhn's status with the team, but we have not heard back. In Winniewood, Jordan Fremstead, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.